a bit on the fence or I don't really know what to do in terms of how I approach the whole um, online DJ streaming thing watching them myself I kind of get a bit bummed out seeing people kind of pretend to have fun um, you know live streaming a set from their house it's can sometimes maybe a bit sad um, I also think sometimes you know it's a little bit boring to watch seeing somebody just like standing in front of a camera just moving side to side playing music um i get it that most people are probably not going to watch it anyway just going to have it in the background or have it on another tab but i kind of mm, i'm a little bit finicky about that and i guess in general though my setup isn't necessarily where i want it to be in order to kind of bring the best out of my live streaming setup so option number one is i kind of do a little bit of a rejig in terms of how i lay out where i do my um live streaming set option number two is i get better equipment which i'm doing at the moment i'm gonna get like i ordered that tr trs cable that everyone uses so i can basically plug the so i can essentially have the sound running through my phone when i'm recording so that when you watch the video back there'll be high quality audio the phone might be shaky but it's all about the audio that's what i've learned especially doing this podcast i've learned you know the video can be a bit dull and a bit shit 480p but as long as the audio is nice and crisp nothing is just nothing usually matters um and you can definitely have it be as good as other people that are doing their stream so i'm gonna do that have a little jig around with the layout and then see if that works but i think if i do it with the cable it's gonna make it's gonna result in the sound being mono it's not gonna be stereo i don't know i'm gonna sort it out but i'll try and give it another go but for now i'm still a little bit on the fence i still think you know the stuff that I do at home isn't going to compare to the stuff that they do on that radio station. Is it H O R Hora? I really want to play that. Actually, that's my goal as well. When everything is sorted out and we're back to normal, I'm definitely going to send these guys a mix and see next time I go to Berlin if I'll be able to kind of pop in and able to play a set. They'd have like an online radio show that they do where they kind of live stream sets from this weird sort of like shower. I'm um, set up somewhere in the depths of Berlin somewhere and it's really really cool I really I'm def- just gonna pop it up now on the screen it's I don't know if it's pronounced how how who yeah or ho but whatever it's pronounced it's one of my favorite um things they do actually they're live now at the moment let's quickly play that and see what they're saying it's, it's um h was it h o r Berlin So yeah, like a pretty cool setup, don't, don't you think? I think so. Let's let's get it live again. So like I said, compared to mine, I just think that this doesn't look that great in it. Like it's, that's an amazing setup. You got this great little tiled shower room with this amazing LED light, a nice fisheye lens on the GoPro over there using the CDJs lined up really well. Obviously for social distancing, they've got one person in the booth at, at one time. It's just a really, really perfect setup, man. I really like it. And I actually like the guy's outfit as well, actually. That's something I'm going to do as well going forward. I'm going to embrace the handsome black man monarchy and um, have make more of a concentrated effort because i think that was a plan anyway the plan was every kind of set i played because you know most of the places i'm playing are just regular bars and pubs and stuff so not paying you know you know big bucks so the plan was whatever i did get paid was every month if it was a couple or whatever maybe take that wage and basically splurge on a nice suit so i might go to like a vintage shop and get a nice suit um and basically have those stockpiled in in my wardrobe so every time i do play out i wear this suit i put on these particular pairs of shades i don't know whatever there's some way i can kind of put on a uniform that would then turn me into the handsome black man every time i turn up to a dj place that would um maybe kind of make me go more in the direction of being an artist as opposed to just performing other people's tracks on behind the decks you know maybe just just take up a lower level um there's obviously some precedent set there i know the guy called magician from back in the day who's still playing now at the moment um he used to do that a lot quite often um wear kind of like a three-piece suit or just like a really dandy suit um mostly around i guess the magician moniker as well maybe it's something with some sparkles a sparkly blazer a bow tie shit i'm not gonna do anything like that i'm not gonna I don't wanna look like some guy from the nation of islam just wanna have like a nice suit on get a trim um and then i think going for something that what i might do because i don't really spend i don't know what other people are like but when i teach i don't really try and wear anything crazy 
not really I don't try and do it I just wear whatever but I think making that bit of an effect can make a bit of a difference so yeah I'd recommend you check it out but yeah um, let's take it off actually talking about mixes I recommend uh, we be about to move on I actually recorded a new mix it's on my SoundCloud now at the moment it's this one test for number 43 I think every week now I'm going to start doing it um, I'm going to start uploading uh, or maybe mostly the days that people rave so Friday Saturday Sunday I'll record a one hour mix of various different stuff that I'm into um, I was doing it previously before but I took a bit of a break because I was you know in my in my feelings about live streaming but I'm just gonna go and just do it you know keep doing what I'm doing because by the time we are all back in a sweaty room somewhere I don't want to have spent the best part of two months not playing and not mixing and lose because I think mixing or mixing is fine I think you can probably get away with not mixing for ages and then going to play someone you're fine but I think the mind to like constantly be thinking about how to put stuff together um, what sounds sonically right the flow of things um, just generally you know tune hunting and whatever it may be or record hunting sorry and getting some new tracks that you need to be doing on a week to week basis and um, if I can get that opportunity to do that Friday, Saturday, Sunday I think that's going to be a quite a good way to kind of go about doing that thing so definitely check it out it's on my SoundCloud now which is um, soundcloud.com forward slash handsome black man all one word you'll find it's the latest one test mix number 43 I've got a track list all there as well that I'm including as well so all the nice stuff is included so definitely check that out if you want to hear what I play when I DJ